Hello and welcome again to another Softframe Studios video. Today I am going to make a little birdhouse pendant in sterling silver again. If you're new to the channel, maybe consider subscribing. And if you have any questions, drop them down below in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I am starting to mark out the base of the pendant and here I am going to score and fold the shape that I need for the bottom and the two sides. This I am doing by starting to cut in just shallow with the saw and then following up with a needle file to make a little notch that will allow me to fold the corners. By removing this notch from the back of the silver it allows me to fold the silver into a much crisper corner if i didn't do that and i tried to bend it with the pliers i'd end up with very rounded corners so this gives me a much sharper look and you can see i'm using my drawing as a template to get the angle just how i want I have the sides cut to length I am now going to start on the roof and continue much the same process as the base by scoring and folding using my needle file and saw technique again and bending using parallel pliers parallel pliers allows me to get a nice even grip all the way across the sheet of metal and I have a strong connection and I'm able to bend evenly. Now filing the edges to the roof and making sure I get a tight connection so my solder has no gaps. The last thing I want is for my two pieces to move when soldering so I'm using this honeycomb with ceramic pins to hold them in location and I'm using hard solder I need to go in and solder the two pieces together but also I need to go in and solder everywhere that I scored the metal to fold it so all those seams I'm running solder down along and into the pickle for a quick soak my pickle I keep in a jam jar it's cold it would work quicker if it was hot but it works just as fine with a bit of patience Once the back plate has been soldered on, I clean off the majority of the excess, leaving a little lip. And now I'm cutting the front plate. Because the roof has a slight overhang, I need to mark the angle of that roof and then trim the silver so that I can get a nice tight fit on the inside and still have the overhang. So you can see me trying that there now. Then I make a rough mark of where I want to cut so I don't have to solder a large plate to it. When I solder on the front plate I will be effectively creating a hollow vessel so I need to allow um, all the expanding gases inside somewhere to escape and that is what I've drilled a hole for. That's going to be the location where I place um, my heart motif, the pierced pattern of the heart. So 
it will be removed in the future or will, will be expanded to the heart shape. I float some solder on the back and now I'm sweat soldering it in location while adding some extra beads of solder up at the top to give it a good connection. I don't want any gaps in the solder. Next I'm doing a little bit of clean up and prep of the roof as I'm going to solder on the jump ring for the chain to go through and it would be a little bit awkward to clean those other areas up afterwards. You can see some amazing filming there with the focus shifting and you can see my torch I'm using is an orca torch and I did solder on a jump ring there, it's just hard to see it. So now after a little bit of cleanup of all the sides, removing overhanging metal and cleaning up edges, I am now going to move on to opening up the heart shape at the front. So I'm freehand scribing the heart motif and then I'm going to expand on the hole that is there by using some burrs and drills and opening that hole. Um, I can't use my saw obviously because we're at the back so here I am using a burr and it's somewhat effective but I quickly adopt a cylinder burr as it allows me to get into all of the tighter rounder shapes. Next I use a safety back or a barrette shaped needle foil to sharpen the bottom of the heart. Once that is done I give it a quick clean and polish. Off camera I added a little post the bottom. That's it for this video. I'd like to thank you for watching and remember subscribe, like and comment if you would please, it really helps. Thanks.